Fist and Wii Fits. And, uh, I mean, classic New York smile. Starting on Small Battlefield, classic New York. Instant can, classic New York. <laughs> Another can, classic. <laughs> just just some classics here. Like We're just getting used to the used to the vibe, you know what I mean? Low profiling that forward tilt and setting up some ledge traps. I do like the up-close gunman from Fawn to if you if if it's timed right or if the timing goes your way, John can get hit by the gunshot, but more than likely, it's just blocking the soccer ball, which is all you want it to do. Exactly. Just a body shield. Yeah. Like get down, Mr. President's dog. <laughs> As you can see here, another use of the can there. Gunman for some coverage. Got to like no trade there. Uh, this is this is the tough part, right? When when you catch Duck Hunt with any, without everything but can, like Duck Hunt can take a ton of damage. But playing disruption is there, and the hitbox extension with that down air on said gunman. Clean stuff from John, just like setting up and making sure to find the damage where uh, you get it. But frame one can is so accessible. Another gunman hits, it takes a soccer ball to the head. God, wow, that jump was risky. Ooh. See, sometimes these little hops are what get you in the rough situations. And surprise, Fawn didn't get caught by that back air, but they absolutely will get caught by that sun salutation. Again, giving up a pretty early jump to John, who just was ready to pull the trigger. All right, but not ready for that can. Twice in the face there. Clay Pigeon covering some distance. Oh, Fawn avoiding okay. that. Sun Salutation with another can? Can's doing everything today. Just, it's like the difference of item property, right? So all of, um, a lot of what Duck Hunt spawns has like physical item property, hello. Whoa. But that still didn't close out the stock. That will though. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of like the difference like, with how soccer ball and can, like they become like physical items even if you can't pick them up while mm. Uh, Sun Salutation is countered on like, the energy property, which can get clanked out much easier. Oh, like it's a okay. priority level or something. I'm not sure what it exactly is referred to in the game coding. That sounds right, though. Yeah. It's... Wow, what a parry for that Sun Salutation. Sometimes you got it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I've I played this enough times that I know the properties. Like I get it. Oh, trying to set up for a fair there, but John was able to get a double roll and looking for the reverse spike. Uh -oh. I know, but that, that extra might be enough. Ooh, yep. Now with the header spiker, rarely seen, but always cool. Gets a ton of damage there as Vaughn. He's starting to look for something big here. Going for that big forward smash is slightly with punish, but by just taking a couple trades and you're allowed to go for some bigger risks when you're set up as Duck Hunt. Keyword when you're set up, but Fawn is just seemingly so good at maximizing time to set up, barring a missed turnaround there. That's really unfortunate to lose a gunman like that. Absolutely, but a good grab there, setting up for the can. John DIing very well to get out of that situation. I didn't even notice that Clay Pigeon at the bottom. Can's coming back. No grab, though. Trying to reposition Can yet again, bouncing it back towards stage. No two-frame. Wow. Barely missing. Weefit has a very slender hurt box as John DI's out in order to avoid any sort of untrue grab follow-ups. The Can's still not doing it. Mm, all the way uh, to the yeah. other end? Too far. Got to right. take a long, long time in order to make these 30 stocks fall off with the forward tilt on ledge. Catching the neutral getup will do it here, Swiss. Got to see if Fawn is able to get something started here, and a grab might do it. Yep, as they're trying to reach for a grab. But unfortunately, no can, so no setups. The clay pigeon missing. Oh, getting back in. Trying to avoid that uh, down that I'm spike so, from John. I'm so surprised by that up air. Like, but that's like, that's a real fun thing about character specialists is like they know where to take risks or they know like little interactions that are very uh, helpful oh. for their character that the header's Wait, not going to do it quite yet. But have saved them. No, yeah. but an unfortunate air dodge down instead of to the side. John that's, takes the first game. That's the trick, right? Like it's such a... John in general is such, you can feel like such a checkmate kind of player. Mm-hmm. And nothing better describes it than the final stock there, as we get to see, uh, get to see a good, healthy rotation of what's going on here. What happened in this previous game? Another thing to shout out is just the the general percentage that John was living towards, yeah, like basically every stock. Anything should have killed. Like, 
Like, and any, he finally that forward tilt yeah, did. Anything did, it just was so, so much. And like, so much effort and so much time being taken on the part of Fawn, which all of that time and all of that like, steadily build up and like trying to find new things and trying to close out the stock, at the end of the day, it becomes data in order mm -hmm. for John and any other player to start like creating patterns and start finding habits and, that all, and burning out through a ton of data early is really, really tough. It looks like Vaughn has actually found these habits already an 81% lead over John. Barely taking any damage here on that first dock. As opposed to the the, uh, the river flows both ways, right? Like if right. You're, you're making John get back to ledge every time, so you're starting to realize his own kind of patterns. Oh, wow. Multi-hit forward smash doesn't work. What is that parry? Little double parry there. The little bounce of the can in order to keep <laughs> it active as John starts his recovery. Those are the those are the type of little optimizations, right? Like how do I mess with this one particular tool and get it to be as optimal as possible? The forward are not gonna get the tipper, but still in resetting this same old position, and that forward tilt will do it. John has been doing so well just avoiding that can off stage, like barely missing them by centimeters each time. Roll on, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like it's just so, it's so hard to sometimes be willing to put the roll on because you just see the hard punishes that people will get on it. Of course. But in a character like We Fit, where the only thing she gets on, uh, like she has to really hard read that roll when when she's going to like run up and do that forward tilt that John was showing off, and that forward tilt is very good. So just sometimes, sometimes you get by with the roll. Oh, yeah. Very nice. But finally taking that with that up air. All right. The quick gunman there. Not quick enough, though, to stop John. Deep breathing, dash attack. Deep breathing in general. Oh, the back air doing huge Ooh. damage. John kind of looking to close out the stock there, but the clay pigeon is going to eat enough. Oh, he was desperate gone. there. Another nair out of shield, though, but John low profiled it. I don't know. Oh, did you did you break the pen? I actually, no, 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 no. It's no? fixed. We're fine. We're good. <laughs> 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 Looks like John isn't as good though as he loses that second stop yeah, before that like up there. Speaking of oh no, I guess. Oh like, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Shout out to Knuckles. I was gonna say <laughs> John looking like uh, Knuckles the good. <laughs> Sometimes you just you, so, you just get beaten alive by a big old duck. I don't think there are any ducks in the Sonic universe now that I think about it. Um, there are birds. There yeah, are like lots the little ones that are freed from the. The flickies. <laughs> there are flickies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that counts. That's enough. Ooh. Up gross. Trying to set up the gun. Like, I think the gunman was meant to land on platform there and yes. just like ever so slightly missing. Again, the down air on that can, but the. Because the can timing was a little off, John was able to block, drop shield, and still throw out forward tilt before Fawn grabbed the. Uh, before Fawn was able to perform the neutral getup. So and just so slightly, smart. Slightly off timed, but John realizing that off timing and punishing. Though you are back on ledge, sitting against Fawn, the jump on pair back to platform was so nice from John. Just like getting center is so important in a matchup like this, because you know you have to burn through a ton of resources, and you know you might take a lot of chip damage. And as we see John reclaiming center stage, Vaughn trying to make something happen with that can. All right, good coverage there, waiting, trying to punish that roll, doesn't quite do it. And for any sort of follow here, the can is knocked, oh! and John didn't wrecking, uh, nope. not reacting in time in order to avoid it, but it doesn't close out the stock. 140, All right, 150. 151. Oh, back down to 149. Let's go, John. Deep breathing, right. healing. Deep breathing, <laughs> rage. I mean, this is really anybody's game here. Last oh, for hit. sure. I mean, again, like the, the can. Oh, it was reverse bead. Very nice. We're gonna <laughs> even Fawn was very surprised by that. Being like that worked. Let's see that yeah. again. No, no, no <laughs> it was reverse bead can right in his face. Frame one. It absolutely had to have been can, right? Because the gunman it was, was hit. the can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He turned. Tur she turned around. Can. Yeah. She did a B reverse can. Right into John's face, but what was John get? What was John pressing? Up tilt was it? Uh, it was up tilt. Yes, Two, we want to go back to that. Speed. And he. No, no, he wasn't pressing anything. It seemed he was. Uh, I think he was going for the down smash. Looks like it was Did jump shot. shot. It looks like it was jump squat. Mm. That's what I was thinking. It's I, hard I to thought tell. he got shot, but you know, 
I think he did get shot. Like, you think so? I wonder what gunman was pulled out. It had to no, be. No, it was an explosion. It was all for right. sure an explosion. We, all right, you know what? We're just going to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep looking at it. There's the gunman on yeah. the right. No, no, but, but, the, but gunman the gunman got hit. hit. Yeah. He does. Hold on. He gets hit but, by the sun salutation. Yeah, so he was knocked out. Oh, wait. For sure. But the, we have the little line. There, that line. This. Wait a minute. Did oh. He, did that oh, gunman take the... Yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. That gunman took a full sun salutation <laughs> with deep breathing. What a Chad. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm glad we got to the to the bottom of this. Shout out to Get down, Mr. Picture, President picture song. replay. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're not done with this guy. We're like, hold on. <laughs> hold on. We have to get to the bottom of this. That's cool as hell. <laughs> Game three. Let's go game three. Let's go production. And it's, I mean, they're already reaching towards a a redo of that climax. It's even game high damage. Oh, and no, no, no tech. tech. It's all oh, fun trying to save themselves. That's or, or just trying to cover if John, if John was coming down. Gunman set up once more. Oh, no fear grab. All right, that's not the gunman. We'll shout out the gunman when he appears. Yeah, he's got the poncho. Yeah, he's the sombrero. Yeah, that's the one with the... So each gunman is, has a different gun, obviously, which and each one has a different, uh, I think, strength and health. Yes. Uh, oh, and speed. And speed, right. They uh, different quick draw speed. That's him. And that's he, the guy. He's he's the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the strongest of the shots, but it's, a, it's not the farthest range. Right. Medium range. Medium range. Very strong. Yeah, like a shotgun. Hey. Crazy, crazy how that works. Uh, what is equally as strange is John once again holding this lead and once again sitting at over 170, nearly 180 when that first stock is getting dropped. Two stocks finally on the board, but... Well, I think I can only save you for so long. Oh, for sure. And, but I think Fawn has realized this. Like, uh, sometimes you're, the character you play, like, not every character kills at around the same time. Mm -hmm. So she's just acknowledged that, like, yeah. Duck Hunt average stock taken is going to sometimes be in the 160, 170 range. And that's just the way my character plays. But as long as I'm not taking too much damage as I lock down and slowly whittle away um, my opponent's stocks, we're, wow. we're even all the same. And the, here she is, like holding center and ready to play the long game yet again. Bond doing a great job of actually uh, parrying their own can explosion, trying to avoid getting um, you know, a little self-KO there. Good drift from John. You, he saw Fawn waiting, but had to air dodge the can, but drifted behind her at the very oh. last moment. Super nice stuff. What a nice oh. little, you know, obviously ducking under the gun, but Fawn realizing their opportunity to go in and grab. Wow, again, he's like just like big down airs. And, and as numbers transition, like, he, though he lost that game too, numbers has felt like he. It felt like Numbers has just been skipping a ledge a whole lot more, trying to force their way back to platform. And sometimes it works out, and sometimes it really doesn't. Yeah, it's like which is very strange because he's often known for just camping the ledge. He's very comfortable there. For sure. Like, and that's the that's the, the different change of pace that John can present to you, especially early or late in sets. Like, John will give you what you want early. It's like, oh, I'll just be on ledge, and we'll be on ledge for a while, and this is the game we'll play. But in game three, he'll pivot off of that in order to like, make you uncomfortable. It's just like an innate mix-up that you were so prepared for. What a test. Jeez. No down air. Back air. But attack. Keeping calm. Like, now the shoe's on the other foot here, Swift. Says. Deep breathing, though. We'll take it. Yeah. Fawn may have lived a very long time, but no extra credit on the part of numbers. Thanks to partially getting, the, getting some 2% healing every now and again. Right. Those numbers add up over time. Yeah. And we're just watching him go from 10% to 2% just like this. This might actually be the reason why all those projectiles at ledge are probably pressuring him to get back on stage. I mean, like, you know, you can't camp this right. long. Not with guns, can, clay pigeon. It's a lot. It's a... I mean, there's quite a lot to deal with. And it's it's, it's enough of a... Like, Duck has enough range and enough of ways to extend that range that John is never allowed just to consistently, like, hang on ledge, like, drop down, charge, deep breathing. Like, he's always got to neutral cap. He's got to pick up something in order to refresh that invulnerability. Mm -hmm. And those are times when Fawn can strike. All right, this Clay Pigeon coming through. For those of you who don't know, that Clay Pigeon does have a three little hitbox after it explodes. It can yeah. trick up mo even the best of players. 
Okay, we uh, trying to can this Sun Salutation again, but just ends up taking it to the face, which is quite Ooh. big damage, but same thing Good opportunity. Here. One more. It's, it's if it actually key. reaches the sweet spot, could kill. Oh, and we Ooh. set up for something. Trying to set up something off the Clay Pigeon here, and I think that's what... Those are the type of combos that Fauna is really trying to get in, condition you to fall into, because Clay Pigeon follow-ups mm -hmm. are absolutely insane oh, if yeah. you let the Clay Pigeon connect. And John, clay Pigeon to Clay Pigeon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Clay true. Pigeon, Clay Pigeon... Uh-oh. Oh, no, no still not, living. Not close. But that deep breathing is dangerous. All right, Clay Pigeon once more. A good grab, but no can to set up into it. Ooh, nope. Yeah, not DZ even close moments. again. <laughs> But without uh -oh. the eye, oh. he well might have done John trying to make it happen uh, again. Reverse can to get it pinged off of the gunman, but John chose to get up at just the wrong moment. Going in deep. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on the sun salutation here, Swiss. Forward throw is not going to do it. Very close, though. Very close. Oh, yeah. Did she use her air dodge in the blast zone? She very well might have. Yes. I'm pretty sure she did. No, she had to in order to make yeah. it back. There was no other way. It was like right at the ledge there. You could right, take peek, right? you could reach out your hand and die. Yeah, if we can see that Aunt. just right there. Yeah, no, she jumped. No, she jumped. Oh. So she had uh, just thinking that you would buy pack. Like, I mean, just check out like the right, check, if we uh, the, can... the angles, right? Like we're getting we're getting thrown here. Right. Pause. We'll zoom in up here. Frame by frame here. Uh, quarter speed. Look, she jumps. Yes. Survives. Jeez. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, Ooh. I mean, that's just really fast. That's just yeah. what that is. That, just... That's a trick. Like, when you're moving at that speed, it's it's a very much like just a trick of the vision where you're moving at these speeds, ball is flying, and you're going at this trajectory. You think, I passed this. Yeah. This isn't hitting me. Ball's I'm fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Fawn looking like Knuckles. Fawn <laughs> immediately just getting up and be like, all right. <laughs> oh, no. 